Okay, so here's my welding trailer. I just picked up for my welder in the background over there. So we have some restoration work to do in this video. There's some rust holes down over there, a little bit down at that weld. Along in this bed here, uh, there's a couple holes. I might want to patch that, but I might leave it for drainage. It needs to be cleaned up. But a couple of these welds, someone was definitely learning on because they look pretty bad. Um, and around the trailer, there's many more of them. So we're gonna see what we can do. Take all these out, clean out what's underneath them. There's quite a bit of dirt and stuff, so I don't want this thing to rust. Paint what I can. And then we're gonna get this big SAE 400 up on that trailer and get it secured. Hopefully we could do all that today, we'll see. Okay, so I got all the dirt out of the trailer along with all the wooden planks and the grates over there. And I filled this trash can up pretty well with crap. And you could really start to see how bad some of the rust is. And like, especially down over there. Um, but I think I'm just gonna clean these pieces of wood up as best as I can. I'm not even gonna paint them because I'll probably end up getting a truck in the next couple years anyway, but you know, I think this will work for now. It sure is a lot of pumps, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so I managed to get it on there. Three of the four bolts are on. I have to run to the hardware store to grab this bolt here. I mean, it's very simple. They just go through the uh, main tube, which needs to be replaced, but that's kind of a later date type thing. I just need this thing out of the garage. Goes through the board of wood, which yeah, sure, it's not the best thing. It's already starting to rot. But first off, it's temporary. And second off, you wouldn't want to necessarily do metal because uh, when this thing's running, all the vibrations. Uh, I mean, yeah, it might have motor mounts that are rubber. I'm not really sure, but still. The wood gives it a little play. So, and the thing's not going anywhere anyway. And those bolts just go right underneath there and down over there. So, that's how it's looking so far. Okay, so I went ahead and patched this uh, piece of rust here on this main tube, just with a simple piece of angle iron. Um, welds aren't too great. Wow, they look even worse on camera. Interesting. Wow, okay, good to know, good to know. Um, yeah, but that's just a simple piece of angle iron, fully welded all the way around. And uh, now over here, I did cut out one of these rust holes. As you can see, there is some rust down there. So I'm gonna try and get a grinder under here and grind some of that out. Maybe get the plasma cutter and cut it out and get a little plate. I already made this plate here to go into there. So I'll weld that, grind that smooth. And like I said, that is gonna be a whole nother project. I probably will just cut a section of this tube out and then go to the metal supply store, see what they have and just redo that. Or I could get something more similar to like a C and just run it across. And I mean, try and weld to this if I can get a high enough wall up here then i think because i mean even though it's pitted it is still pretty solid so it looks like someone tried to repair it before so yep. so i made the patch there and then i took some all thread and welded one of those square nut things to it and that's going to be the bolt to go over there so we're going to mount that paint that up and call it a day.